of the 234 assembly constituencies in Tamil Nadu the DMK alliance won a clear majority with 159 seats the AIDMK led front won only 75 seats in this concluding 16th legislative assembly election but it was not a sweeping swing towards the DMK led secular progressive alliance which got 44.37% of votes not far behind is the AIDMK led national democratic alliance which got 39.73% votes the DMK and the AIDMK have swapped places in the assembly the former is becoming the ruling party after 10 years and the AIDMK is pushed to take the position of the opposition Newsquick spoke to political analyst Ramu Manivanu, professor and head of department of politics and public administration at University of Madras. The resurgence of DMK in the last 10 years can single singularly attributed to the uh, thrust that the BJP is making in Tamil Nadu politics. It is the it is the DMK alone can withstand and like you know um, resist the uh, uh, coming or the entry of bjp in tamil nadu politics so like you know the whole politics has turned not simply because of any kind of uh, uh, polarization between dmk and admk that polarization is electorally correct but politically the ideological conflict between the bjp and uh, dravidian parties and Dr- dravidian social boys that results in the emphatic with victory of the dmk you know whether bjp is a burden to admk or admk would have performed better but the fact that if bjp had not been around admk would not have just stayed as one party in the last 4 years it is the bjp which has kind of like you know uh, kept it in one bound for its own purpose and like you know bridged the factions of pani silvam and edapadi and then made the consolidate i mean with the very open involvement of the bjp bjp was literally ruling the state for the last 4 years and then there's no secret about it and uh, that factor has become a burden but as far as the bjp's role and being part with the admk survival is that it cannot be separated actually then uh, why admk surprised everyone by its performance is that i attribute two reasons one is that like you know um, yadapadi has uh, fairly addressed himself as a serious leader of the admk party the legislature and the chief minister and then like you know uh, secondly if you look at the votes and the seats that they have received in tamil nadu uh, election assembly election 2021 this is largely from the western districts where there's a caste is a very important factor the congress won 18 out of the 25 seats it contested as part of the dnk alliance given that in the 2016 assembly elections congress won only 8 out of the 41 seats it contested this is a big win for the party another national party the bharatiya janata party after much fanfare and popular candidates won only 4 out of the 20 seats it contested as part of the alliance with the ruling ai admk the bjp has won seats in tamil nadu after 20 years but not a considerable change in its vote share even besides the alliance with the ai admk how how much and how far that the bjp will take uh, will continue to stay and influence the uh, ai admk because in, i feel that the ai admk party uh, many leaders and party members are also of the opinion which they don't dare to say it now but they feel that the bjp factor has affected their prospects in the 2021 assembly elections but now for for uh, bjp they have got what they want they have achieved the presence in tamil nadu and like you know they believe that it's a matter of time then we you know we'll just uh, uh, climb and make a high stake in tamil nadu politics all the assembly seats in tamil nadu have been shared between the two big dravidian party led alliances this time the other fronts and small parties that were in the fray lost quite miserably but you know my my question to the nam tamil kachi is that like you know uh, you uh, what kind of role that they have in every election coming into this election and uh, do they want to be the vote cutters uh, for on behalf of somebody and or they want to uh, present themselves as a genuine alternative 
I think like, you know, they continue to function as a vote cutter. They and though they project themselves as the alternative. I think that was the major uh, shortcoming in Kamala's and Kamala's approach that like, you know, you can't just kind of like, you know, go and identify with some work that has been done by somebody and like, you know, picking people who are popular and bringing them along in the same platform. That is, that is, that, that is not the actual poly, poly, uh, change, transformation politics. You have to go to the people. You have to identify the issues. You, I mean, his party and his um, cadres should work among the people. And uh, I also think that, like, you know, Kamalasan at large was a one constituency wonder. You can't reduce the entire party to one constituency fight. Though the two Dravidian parties continued to bag a majority of the seats in the Tamil Nadu Assembly elections, the coming days are not easy. Stalin is taking oath as Chief Minister at a time when the COVID-19 cases are steadily spiking in Tamil Nadu. He has been a vocal critique of Edapadi administration's ways of tackling the pandemic, and Stalin has to prove himself now. As far as the AIADMK is concerned, it looks like the BJP may have to play the big brother to pick the leadership of opposition. What TTV Dinagaran, Seeman and Kamal Hazan are going to do next, we have to wait and watch.